the narcissist wants to destroy you. The narcissist feels anger, hurt or resentment towards you. They feel bitterness and annoyance. You will begin to notice them expressing this during the devaluation phase. This all starts when they have to witness your progress or success. They have to witness how effortlessly you have built a life for yourself. They have to see everything that you have created. You might have a successful career, loving family and friends, or a relationship partner. You might have a nice home or an expensive car. Sometimes it doesn't even have to be your progress or success. It might just be your capabilities or potential. The narcissist might compliment you on these things in the beginning or they will act like they don't notice in an attempt to invalidate you or to make you think you're not as good as you are. Either way, they will act as though it doesn't bother them. They will act as though they are okay with it. But as time goes on, it begins to eat away at them. The envy and jealousy begins to grow within them. They begin to feel anger, hurt and annoyance, provoked by what is perceived as unfair or unjust treatment. Due to their arrogance and sense of entitlement, they believe that they are more deserving of your success than you are. As their feelings of envy begin to grow and develop, it may even trigger them to sabotage your success or to steal from you or take things away from you. They don't care about the consequences of their actions. They don't care about how it affects you. Because they feel so small, so miserable, that they don't even have the capacity to consider you. And in many cases, they actually hope that it does cause you problems and that it does make you upset. Because that's exactly how your success has made them feel. And the only way that they can resolve those feelings, other than going within, is to return to the source of their, of their pain and get revenge. They have to make you feel the way that they do, to regulate their pain, to regulate their emotions, to boost their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. Their state or condition is always in contrast to how you feel or to how things are going for you. They have to compare their state or condition to yours to emphasize differences because they see you as an extension of them. This is why your emotional state has such significance to them. And this is why they build up so much bitterness and annoyance towards you. Because your happiness and contentment, your satisfaction and fulfillment is viewed by them in contrast to how they feel or how things are going for them in their life. They are constantly comparing your emotional state to theirs to emphasize differences. So the more happier and contented, the more satisfied and fulfilled you become, the more it emphasizes the difference between you and them, the more it reflects on their emotional state and reminds them just how small and miserable they feel. That's why they constantly have to manage and control your emotional state. They have to put you down, try to sabotage your success, steal from you or take things away from you. Everything they do is designed to regulate your emotional state because it is viewed by them in contrast to how they feel or how things are going for them. They are constantly checking in on how you are feeling to compare with how they feel to emphasize differences. Another thing that builds up resentment within them is when you dispute truth or validity of something that they are saying, or if you challenge or contest them on something. 
if you challenge their way of thinking or if you challenge something that they are saying they might not give a negative response or say anything to you in that moment but they are taking note of your criticisms no matter how constructive or positive they may be and it is building up resentment within them it's hurting them and making them very angry even though what you're saying might not be intended to hurt them you may be giving them criticism with their best interests in mind they will see it as though you are against them or you are opposed to something that they are doing it turns into a grudge and resentment they begin to see you as their opponent in a competition or contest a rival enemy foe nemesis someone who is against them and now everything you try to achieve or accomplish they are going to challenge or contest they are going to be opposed to you or against you they are going to try to make you feel less confident less powerful or less likely to succeed they are going to gradually try to make you weaker they are going to gradually try to lessen your effectiveness power or ability because now they have these thoughts or ideas fixed in their mind that you are against them your success or criticism of them has caused a narcissistic injury so now everything you say everything you do is going to be challenged or contested and they will be trying to make you feel less confident they will target your self-worth and self-esteem they will try to put you in a state or condition where you where you are constantly deteriorating they will try to gradually lessen your effectiveness power or, or ability and you might not be aware of this especially if you are dealing with a covert narcissist because they have a tendency to keep their thoughts or activities unknown to others they hide their feelings thoughts intentions and even their actions from other people they are secretively damaging and attacking you they are secretively trying to ruin you trying to destroy you while acting as though they appreciate your success or they understand your criticism they will go along with it but secretively they are trying to destroy you they have a strong or unreasoning desire for revenge they have a wish to harm you because they think that you have harmed them your success or criticism has hurt them and made them resent you it has made them feel bitterness and annoyance towards you and now they are unwilling to forgive now they are vengeful now they are seeking to harm you in return for their perceived injury now they are out for revenge it creates this prolonged bitter quarrel or campaign against you where they cannot forgive or let go because your success or criticism has deeply offended or hurt them it has made them feel small and insignificant powerless and insecure and the only way that they can regain their power and significance in this situation is by pursuing a vendetta against you it's either that or they accept their fate they accept that you are better than them more successful or they accept that your criticism was correct or justified but your success or criticism was what caused the injury in the first place and that is why they are going to fight to the end they are out for revenge and seeking to, to destroy you they will still act kind or friendly 
They will act as though they want to help you. Or as though they want you to succeed. But they are hoping for you to fail. They have every intention for you to fail. And they will even be plotting a sequence of events to make that a reality. They will be promoting and encouraging anything that will sabotage or prevent your success. They will be facilitating anything that will destroy you. You cannot reveal your intentions or objectives to the narcissist. You will only be assisting them in their plot to destroy you. Once the narcissist begins to develop a grudge and resentment towards you, there is no going back. You cannot change them. They will be plotting to destroy you. And it will provide them with satisfaction and enjoyment to see you make faults or mistakes. To see you fail and struggle. They will act as though they care and that they are really sorry or that they feel bad for you. They might even give you advice. But it is not intended to help you. They do not care about you. They do not want to help or support you. The narcissist always has two sides. One side is the fake, kind, caring person who is there for you. But when they're not around you, the other side of them is getting satisfaction and enjoyment from seeing you fall. In their minds, it's revenge. They are hurting or harming you in return for an injury or wrong that they have suffered at your hands. They will return to you and be around you, acting as though they are trying to help you, just to witness your pain and suffering. Once the narcissist begins to resent you, there is no going back. You cannot change them. Once they begin devaluing you, once you've caused a narcissistic injury, they will never see you the same way ever again. They will not stop. They will not leave you alone until they finally get the result that they want. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforcoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.